Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So I feel like I have a lot of things I need to update you on and I think it's because I've gone back to doing one video a week. Um, you probably didn't even notice but I feel like I have to be very picky about what that video is and that usually ends up being a reaction video or a cage tour and that leaves me with a lot of things to update you on because I don't always get to do them in a specific video so I'm filming this extra video today to update you on everything that's happened or is going to happen in the next few weeks. So right now I'm just getting ready to go to the post office. I have a few orders that I need to send. I'm not sure if I mentioned it here on YouTube but I did launch some pet supplies on my online store. So pet treats, toys, accessories, everything like that for rats, mice, hamsters is now available on my store. Thank you so much to any of you that have already placed an order. It literally means the world to me. I get so excited every time I get a notification to say that I've got a new order. So thank you if you have ordered anything so far. It literally means the world to me. So if you've looked on the store and you think it does look a bit empty, that is because that is true. Um, things did sell out a lot quicker than I was expecting them to. I didn't really buy enough stock. So there's a lot of things on there that have sold out. And I do plan on restocking these very soon and also getting some new items in, which is really exciting. So hopefully I can do that towards the end of the month. But if you have placed any order so far, thank you so much. And hopefully if there was something you were interested in that you weren't able to get, hopefully I can have that back in the store for you towards the end of October. So the first thing I have to tell you is I am going to be at the National Pet Show in Birmingham at the NEC on the 2nd of November, which is the Saturday. I did attend the show in previous years and I'm really excited to be going again this year. I've also partnered up with the National Pet Show to give you guys a chance to win two free tickets. So the giveaway is being hosted on my Instagram. This is what it looks like and it's also linked in the description. The giveaway is for two free tickets to the show for Saturday or Sunday. I am going on Saturday but the tickets are for whatever day is best for you. But bear in mind that I'm going to be there on the Saturday and not the Sunday. So if you want a chance to win the tickets, please go and enter the giveaway. Bear in mind it does finish this weekend so please go and enter before then if you want a chance to win these two free tickets. But if you've already got your tickets and you do already know that you are going, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to meet some of you. I am a pretty awkward person and I do get a bit distracted by things. So if I'm looking at a cat or something and you're trying to get my attention, just shout my name and get my attention because I can get very sidetracked and distracted by things. But I do really want to meet some of you. As I said before, I have been in previous years, so I'm really excited to go again this year and see what's new and what's different. For me, as an animal lover, I love so many different types of animals. Having them all in one room and one area to look at all day is literally my ideal day out. So I'm really, really excited to be going in this year. One of the things I like about the show is if you're thinking of getting a particular animal, it's a really good show to come along to and meet these animals and meet people that are experts in that field. And there's also talks going on throughout the day to learn more about how to care for these animals. And you can also buy supplies for them and things like that on the day. I think the thing that I'm most excited to see is the cat village. I am slowly turning into a crazy cat lady and I'm really excited to see all the different breeds of cats. There's also different dog breeds you can meet and probably the best thing that's most suited to this channel is there is a small animal village so you can meet rabbits, rats, other small animals and also buy a bunch of different things for them which is really exciting. Also I'm really excited to see the alpacas, they're one of my favourite animals and it's not every day you get to see an alpaca so I think they're going to be there as well. So yeah, if you live in the UK I do highly recommend you consider coming, it's such a good day out. If you do enter the giveaway and you don't win you can also use my discount code which is just emiology to get 20% off your tickets if you do decide to come to the show and please let me know if you are coming down in the comments because I would like to meet and chat to some of you. So yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say about the show. Now I need to go to the post office and post these orders, but when I get back, I will give you an update on all of the pets. Two hours later. So I just came in here to give you an update on everyone, and Orbit is asleep. She's doing the biggest sploot right now, so I'm not going to disturb her, but she looks so cute. So hopefully by now you've seen the tour of the naturalistic enclosure for the mice. This is the aftermath of that. They, I took them about 30 minutes to mess it up and rearrange it. So I'll probably go in and tidy up a little bit at some point, but they are really loving it in here. So one thing I have added since that video is these stickers by Furnishables, these autumn ones. I just felt like the cage needed a bit more color, obviously besides the bright pink wheels, but 
I added these on and I think it does definitely make it look a bit more interesting because everything else in here is definitely very brown. So yeah, you've got this mushroom one and then all of the leaves and then also a tree and some berries and then this little log one here. So if you're interested in picking up some furnishable stickers for your cage yourself, you can use my discount code which is ME10 and obviously I'll leave their website linked in the description. whole video about the leaf insect enclosure but really there's not that much to it so I thought I'd talk to you about it in this video instead. So this is their enclosure, it's kind of hard to show you but it is an ELC cage for leaf insects and stick insects and I really love it, I think it looks really cool. So I actually had a bit of the background from the mouse enclosure left so I decided to stick it in here. It does make it a bit too dark to look into but I think it does make it look a bit more interesting because there's not too much going on, it is literally just paper towel and brambles because that's how they like it. So I stuck this on here and I think it makes it look a bit more like an enclosure rather than just a random box with some leaves in. So the leaf insects themselves are doing good, I'm not sure where they all are at the moment but they're all shedding nicely and eating good which is great. I definitely have two females, the two bigger ones are the females and then one of the other bigger ones did turn out to be a male, which is good. That means we can have them breed in the future. This one right here is the male. I'm not sure if you can see. But he is definitely a lot slimmer and he has a pointier end at the back. And then this is one of the females. As you can see, they're very good at camouflaging, so it's very hard to show you. I'll show you this one. This oh, is one of the females who is upside down at the moment, so you can't really see her. So there's still two of them that are a lot smaller than the rest of them. This is one of them. I'm not sure where the other one is at the moment, but these will probably just hatch later. But also, I think this one is probably a male as well. I'm not too bothered about having a bunch of males because I don't want too many females and too many eggs and then too many leaf insects anyway. So having a few males in here doesn't really bother me anyway. So here is a better look at the bigger male. As you can see, the end of him is pointed instead of rounded and he also has longer antennas as well. Oh. Sprout, give us a boggle. Come on, I know you want to. <laughs> Good boy. I don't think I'll ever get over how weird that looks. I don't want to open the cage because then he'll definitely stop doing it. Sprout. Sprout. Oh my god. Oh, big yawns. So, this is the part of the video I really didn't want to film. And I put it at the end because I didn't want the whole video to be a sad video, but this is still something that is going on and I did want to talk about. So, my rats are getting old. Moose is two years and three months, which is amazing. Considering he doesn't have the best genetics, he has lived a pretty long time. Um, and Sprout and Sunday would be two next month, at the end of next month, so they are very, very close to their second birthday. And unfortunately, Sunday is not gonna make his second birthday. And I know it's just a birthday, like rats don't know that it's their birthday, but to me, getting a rat to their second birthday is like a big milestone for me. And unfortunately it just doesn't happen sometimes, which obviously I'm not gonna prolong his life if he is suffering 
just to get him to his second birthday for my sake so that is pretty much what is happening and I would have loved for him to have made his second birthday but unfortunately his health had other ideas. So I took Sunday to the vets over a week ago with a respiratory infection which has now been treated and cleared up which is great but that is not the main issue. The main issue is his kidneys. So some of the other symptoms I noticed and I did also want him to get checked out for is the fact that he is just generally slowing down but he has lost quite a bit of weight. He's lost even more weight since the vet appointment but he was losing a lot of weight. He was getting a bit unsteady on his back legs and overall he was just looking very frail which is understandable for his age. He is coming up to being two years old but he was looking very frail and also looking at your rats every day you know what colour their skin is and he did look very pale to me so I suspected he was also slightly anemic. So these all are symptoms of kidney failure, which unfortunately there's not a treatment for in rats, um, but the vet did fill his kidneys and one of them was very enlarged, so we together decided that the best option for him was to give him some pain medication, treat the respiratory infection he also had, and just see how he goes. Um, he's doing okay, the pain medication has made such a difference He's not in pain anymore, his kidneys are still obviously struggling and failing. The biggest thing for me though is how much weight he's lost. I'm not going to show you him I don't think because I really don't want your last memories of him to be bad ones. I want you to remember him. So I'm not going to show you but um, maybe if he's sleeping later on I will give you a little clip of him but he, he's doing okay, he's still eating, drinking, he's trying to run around with the other rats. His mind is still young, but his body is failing. And like, obviously I'm upset right now because I love him, but this is the reality of owning rats. They don't live very long. And when the end does come, it can be pretty harsh sometimes. So I expect this, I know it's coming. Does it make it any easier? No, but this is what I signed up for. So a lot of you have been sending me some really sweet messages about Sunday which I do really appreciate, it does make it a lot easier and wishing him well and hoping that he gets better but unfortunately with kidney failure in rats there's nothing you can really do to cure it, it is just one of those things that you have to manage the pain and manage it until it does get too much which I think that's definitely coming up very soon. So if you are interested in reading up a bit more about kidney failure and kidneys in general when it comes to rats, this is a very common health issue when it comes to male rats especially. They have been fed on a kidney friendly diet pretty much their entire lives. I'd say when they were younger I did feed them science selective which isn't necessarily the best um, but I did switch them over to a kidney friendly diet pretty early on I'd say when they are about six months old so I've been trying my best. There is obviously almost more you can do every time and it is unfortunate that you have to learn through your rats to better yourself for the next rats but hopefully by making this you guys can read up on kidney issues and recognise the signs of them early enough that you can start to make those adjustments for your rats and make the transition into old age a bit easier for them. So right now he is okay, he's not any in immediate pain or anything. The pain medication he's on is pretty strong and is managing any pain that is coming from his kidneys because he was in quite a bit of pain in that area when the vet touched him so the pain medications have improved his quality of life. Up to this point he's still eating and stuff but unfortunately one of the symptoms of kidney failure is even though he still has an appetite he's still eating. I'm feeding him separately about three or four times a day. He is still wasting away, he's getting very skinny and it's getting pretty hard to look at and I think if I left it any longer it would, it would definitely not be fair. I don't know what he's doing right now but he's having a good old time digging in the bedding. Oh, steady. He's like really unsteady on his feet too. Good boy. It's really weird like talking about this whilst I'm sat next to him. So, <sighs> this is the hard part. So I've had to make the hard but necessary decision to not let him get any worse than he already is and I've scheduled the appointment for him to be put to sleep on Monday. So yeah, I apologise that this isn't the most happy end to this video but I did want to let you guys know 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload a tribute video to him. I know it would be nice to do that. I just, it gets draining after a while having animals that live not very long, having to go through and edit and upload sad videos. Hopefully I can make one that isn't sad, that isn't as sad as this one, but I felt I owed it to you guys to let you know ahead of time because I know that it is happening ahead of time that this is gonna happen um, on Monday, possibly sooner if he goes downhill, but right now he's not doing too bad. He, I just know he's not gonna get better, he's only gonna get worse, and I'd rather do it a day too soon than a day not soon enough, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's what's happening next week. He's staring at me right now, so maybe I'll get him out real quick. He just found some pasta. <laughs> Is that your pasta? Alright. I love you so much. You know that. We love you. So I'm sorry for crying on camera, I didn't expect to do that, but I wanted to give you guys an honest update on everything that's been going on, the good stuff and also the bad stuff, so hopefully you guys are all caught up now. I love you guys, I'll see you in my next video. Hopefully next one is not going to be as sad as this one, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.